According to the Alzheimer's Association, Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States and the fifth leading cause of death in people ages 65 and older. With these serious statistics, I think it is important that my audience is informed about what Alzheimer's disease is, what causes Alzheimer's disease, and are there any treatments available to help prevent or cure Alzheimer's disease. Throughout my speech, I will be referring to a personal experience I had while working with an elderly woman in her early 90s who had been, who had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. I had the opportunity to work with this lady during my clinical work at a nursing home. To begin, Alzheimer's disease is a common disease of dementia among elderly people. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the National Institute of Health reported Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible progressive brain disease that slowly destroys memory and thinking skills and eventually even the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. While working with my patient, I was easily able to recognize that she had been diagnosed with dementia from the way she demonstrated her speaking and thinking skills. For example, my patient and I spent a lot of our time together visiting and sharing stories with one another. My patient would tell me a recent event that had happened in her life and go on to something else and then come back five minutes later and tell me that exact same story that she had just told me as if she hadn't told me already. My patient also asked me the same questions over and over again, whether they were from that previous day or from a week ago. Her long-term memory, however, was still very good as she was able to tell me stories from her childhood and her married life. Her diagnosis was not advanced far enough where to say that she was not able to carry out the simplest tasks of life as she was able to feed herself, bathe herself, groom herself, and use the restroom. According to Tinman, Kim, Flurry, Korchblack, and Brandt, age plays a significant role in relation to dementia. As a result, if the elderly population continues to increase, so will the number of age-related dementia cases. It is estimated that in the years to come, the number of yearly dementia reported cases will reach up to and affect 1 million people. According to the Alzheimer's Association, the number of Americans surviving into their 80s and 90s and even older is expected to grow because of the advances in medicine and medical technology and the environmental and living conditions. Next, it is not fully understood as to what causes Alzheimer's disease but scientists continue to work on developing possible answers, states the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the National Institute of Health. Scientists are conducting studies to learn more about plaques, tangles, and other features of Alzheimer's disease. They can now visualize plaques by imaging the brain, brains of living individuals who have or may have Alzheimer's disease. They are also exploring the very earliest steps in the disease process. According to the University of Maryland Medical Center, the only definite way an individual can be diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease is through an autopsy after they have passed away. However, if it is suspected that an individual has Alzheimer's disease, a doctor can examine the person's overall health and is able to notice signs and symptoms that may be related to Alzheimer's disease that can help with the, the diagnosis. In addition, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the National Institute of Health said doctors will also conduct, conduct tests of memory, problem solving, language, and counting. They may also carry out medical tests such as urine, blood, and spinal fluid and perform brain scans to help in the diagnosis. The earlier the diagnosis, the sooner the individual can start treatment and prepare for what is to come in the long process of fighting Alzheimer's disease. In regards to my patient, I am unaware of how her diagnosis has, was actually made. Next, according to Tidman, Kim, Flurry, Korchblack, and Brandt, there are no treatments to cure Alzheimer's disease or prevent or stop the progression of Alzheimer's disease. 
Many of the individuals who are diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease rely on nurses and family members to take care of them and to provide encouragement. However, there are several types of medications that have been approved by the FDA to help, to help treat the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the National Institute of Health. Donpazil, rivastigmine, galatamine, and minotamine are used to tr treat Alzheimer's disease. They may help maintain thinking and memory skills and speaking skills. However, these drugs do not change the underlying disease process and may help only for a few months or a few years. Ultimately, an individual who is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease live with Alzheimer's disease throughout the rest of their life. My patient lives in a nursing home where she re relies on nurses to help carry out her activities of daily living in addition to any other needs that she may need met. In addition, she also has the company of other residents to visit with and provide encouragement. I am not sure as to what type of medication my patient uses in help treating and in help, in helping with her dementia. According to Horner, UNMC has established an Alzheimer's disease research fund in honor of former President Ronald Reagan. He suffered Alzheimer's disease a decade throughout his life. UNMC, through its research efforts, is trying to eliminate the pain of Alzheimer's disease and other neurodegenerative disorders. Citizens from Nebraska can join in the efforts to fight against Alzheimer's disease. At UNMC, neurodegenerative disease research is among their highest priority. They have tremendous expertise in this area and they're working very hard to find cures for all these devastating diseases, including Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and AIDS related dementia. Currently, the, Nebraska, the Nebraskans suffering from Alzheimer's disease could fill Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. With baby boomers reaching retirement age and life expectancies increasing, the number of state citizens who suffer from the disease will reach 100,000 within a few years. With more than $8 million in research in neodegenerative Disorders, UNMC is studying the basic science and clinical treatments of Alzheimer's disease, including new drug therapies. In conclusion, I have presented a speech concerning a very important topic that is affecting more and more people each day. Because the numbers are increasing and more families are coping with loved ones being affected by Alzheimer's disease, I have in informed you what Alzheimer's disease is, what causes Alzheimer's disease, and are there any treatments available to help prevent or cure Alzheimer's disease? If there is one thing that my audience can take away from my speech, it is to know that encouragement and being there to support an Alzheimer's disease victim is one of the most important things that you can do for them as they fight through this terrible battle of Alzheimer's disease. Because there is no treatment, this is the best thing they can be in contact with in order to live their lives day to day.